Hello and welcome to today's Brunel University webinar rebroadcast, Why Now for Brunel. Thanks everybody for joining us today. My name is Dave and I'm going to be moderating the discussion today. So let's talk about what we're here to talk about. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to watch the original broadcast of this webinar. Don't worry, the information is just as relevant now as it was then. Uh, and those things we're going to uh, watch about include why now is a great time to come to Brunel for your online degree. We'll talk about what is different about learning online at Brunel, what makes it better. We'll talk about why now is a great time to invest in your future with an online education. And we'll talk about why now is a great time to prepare yourself to uh, work in an increasingly virtual workplace is something that we've all probably experienced in one, one way or another over the last year. Uh, we've also got two great members of our Brunel enrollment team who will answer your questions live after we watch the video. Uh, you don't need to wait until the Q&A portion to submit a question. You should see a Q&A icon on your screen. Go ahead and click that anytime and type in your question. Anytime you see something or hear something that you're curious, you want to know more about, use that Q&A function and we'll make sure to answer that question when we get to that portion of the program. So with that, we're going to watch the video broadcast. It's about 12-ish minutes or so. Uh, and then we will move on to the Q&A. So with that, let's watch the video. So before we talk about why for now, I want to share a little bit about our history. So we started out over 140 years ago as a women's only college in Gainesville, Georgia. So we studied seminary at that time, and over the years, of course, we now have co-ed and multiple programs. What you may not know is in 1998, we actually became the first online university. So with that being said, with over 20 plus years experience, we've learned to really perfect our programs, our processes, get comfortable with our culture, and really provide an exciting um, learning online experience. So as adult learners, um, we're very busy individuals. Um, we have work during the days, we work at nights, um, we have children, we have to eat. So it's very, very important to have a special um, environment in order to accomplish our goals. So with that being said, we have 100% online classes. Um, we typically take two classes at a time, and they're um, usually about seven weeks long. Um, very manageable course, course sizes, um, and it's just, it's just a very comfortable environment. As adult learners, we've also um, have kind of learned a, a little bit about um, how we've been out of school for so long. <laughs> and it could be a little bit scary sometimes. And we may not remember our math skills or our writing skills. Um, in fact, my daughter the other day, um, who's 15, um, wanted to have ask me a question on geometry, which I'm sure this has happened to many of you guys. But um, I had to pull out a book, a humongous book of geometry just so that I could get comfortable being able to tell her and help her with her, her assignment. So what's really cool about Brunel and online is that we offer that free assistance. So we have help for you, um, no matter how long you've been out of school. So math source, uh, sources, uh, writing resources, um, tutorials, people who can help you with these um, different areas that um, you may be a little bit more fearful of. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over to Talika, who's gonna go ahead and tell you a little bit about our roles as enrollment coaches. Hello everyone and thank you, Kristen. Um, being an enrollment coach, um, it yeah. literally is basically just guiding you through step by step, making sure number one that Brunel is a great fit for you, that we offer the best program for you. and along with making sure it's a great fit and a great program, we're actually going to help you prepare for that next journey by assisting with the application process. And by the way, there's no application fee. Um, we also assist with ordering transcripts. Um, if we are able to order those for you, we'll do that on your behalf. And then the next step is to um, get you admitted into our program. And then from there, we're just going to have a great relationship 
probably become friends somewhere down the line and continue to um, make sure that you have a very successful experience in college. And along with working with your enrollment coaches, um, you'll also have a success coach. Your success coach is going to make sure you're taking the right class at the right time so you can graduate on the right day. So our goal is to get you in the class, get you graduated, and onto that career path that you set out for yourself. Um, your success coach will also introduce you to your faculty advisors. Faculty advisors will bring you your program plan. Everything is online, so you don't even have to come to the campus. Um, due to the pandemic, we have made sure that everything is so convenient for all of our students, including our faculty and staff. And as you can see, uh, there's a student that mentioned, just do it, uh, where now is a great place to go. I can tell you personally, I have been with Renell for a very, very long time, and I have students that I've taken from their associate's degree to their bachelor's degree, from their bachelor's degrees to their master's degrees. And I have one student that literally calls me almost every week um, just to say hello, let me know how she's doing in class. So not only are you a Brunel student, but you become part of the Brunel family. So while all this really sounds fantastic, let's sign up, let's do all this stuff, but, but how are we going to pay for this? I know that's always in the back of everybody's mind. Um, there are many options available to help students um, throughout the program. Um, there's federal assistance, so the FAFSA, which is, includes both loans and grants. Grants are based off of need and um, loans are available. Um, state government. So Georgia takes a lot of pride when their students go to school locally. So in order to do that, they want to also provide some different resources. And um, one of them is um, something I'm going to discuss in a minute. But they're very, very helpful. And there's scholarships, there's private scholarships, there's other resources. And that's also something that as enrollment coaches, we are um, ready to help you with. Um, to provide those, those different um, opportunities to help you with the cost. So as I mentioned, um, one of the grants that Georgia does offer is called the, the Equalization Grant. This is something that is provided through the government uh, or state government. Um, it is offered per year for individuals who have lived in Georgia at least two years. Um, it's $850. Um, sometimes they split it up into 425 and 425, but this is something that they do have set aside to help our students. And as Kristen was mentioning the Georgia Tuition Equalization Grant, another opportunity for our students is the non-traditional student um, scholarship, which is the Adult Skills Education Program. Um, that's a great opportunity for you to see if there's any additional scholarship money to help you pay for your of school. Along with that, there are some additional websites that I'd like to share. One is collegeboard.org, O-R-G, a great resource for looking for scholarships. There's an app called Scholly, another great opportunity to look for scholarships. This is something um, that you can use for yourself if you have children that are preparing for college. This is great information for, for them as well. And many of our students, um, along with using scholarships, they're getting their bachelor's degree and then they're transitioning into their master's program. And one of the questions that I get on a daily basis is, do I have to take the GMAT or the GRE to um, qualify for the graduate program? The great thing is our MBA program, you do not have to have the GRE or the GMAT. You will have to have a certain grade point average, and that's something we can definitely discuss in a Q and A. And um, that's that's the amazing part. Even our masters of arts in teaching, um, we no longer require the GMAT or the GRE um, for that program. So there are different um, requirements, but the biggest thing is the GRE and the GMAT are currently waived. So it saves you so much money and so much time. One thing that COVID has taught us this year, and I've heard this from other students as well, is that it helps us identify um, our lives and um, what we're capable of doing. So one thing that we found out is that um, over 4.7 million U.S. workers were working um, remotely now. 
Um, I, I used to work in an office, <laughs> now of course working from home, but it, it's learning these skills when you go to school online that's helping us with these, these characteristics and these skills needed in order to be successful. From teachers to customer service to, um, you know, it, it, uh, like utility companies, they're all working um, online now. And these are some of the companies that, that have switched over. And so by looking at these new opportunities, we have to look at to ourselves and say, hey, are we prepared for this? By going to school online, you are learning all those, those skills. You're learning those capabilities and, and those exciting um, ways uh, that are gonna help you be more success successful. And we'll go over that here in a second. With online classes, um, it does teach us to connect with others. So one of the different um, things that we do as one of our assignments is called a discussion question or DQ. Um, our teachers will um, provide a question and it allows everybody an opportunity to go in um, and really check it out and read the article and, and figure out what the answer is. But what's so cool about it is that we all have different life experiences. We all have different opinions. So when we read something, we may read something that is completely um, different from what somebody might have also seen. So it helps us uh, really um, look outside the box sometime. And not only that, but we can also take that information and apply it to real life. So another um, area that we do is group projects. Group projects just really teaches us to collaborate, um, you know, as, as we're doing our webinar today, today on Zoom. Um, we have to, to be able to function and be able to work with other individuals, whether or not they're sitting next to us or you know a thousand miles away. So it's very, very important to keep that communication going. And that's something that Group Projects does teach us. Virtual teams as well, you know, again, Zoom. Um, your teacher may occasionally say, hey, let's go ahead and uh, meet up if somebody's not understanding something. Even on an individual basis, they can do that. So a uh, lots of flexibility there, lots of help, lots of support, but it's definitely going to help you not only in the workforce, but it's going to help you for a lifetime. So another thing that you'll learn skills in is accessing um, written lectures. So we're, we're learning how to communicate again, either through writing skills, um, through um, person to person. Um, we don't have our, our hands to to provide to us to to lead us through discussion so we have to be up on our technology so you're going to use skills such as powerpoint you're going to use skills such as excel um, word you're going to learn about all of those things that will help you as a student but again you know moving forward into the workforce because that's ultimately our goal is to be able to um, get through school and have a, sex, a successful career so um, collaborating with others through video calls, again, Zoom is our friends now, and it makes you more comfortable um, to be able to speak um, and communicate on a quicker um, motion. All right, so that does it for the broadcast portion today. And uh, before we get into the Q&A, uh, just a quick reminder that classes start up at Bernau again on May 10th. That you're like, oh, it's a couple months away. It'll be here before you know it. There's a lot that you can do now to set yourself up for success uh, come May 10th. Uh, we've got a handful of questions already that we'll get answers to, but we also want to dig into your specific situation and how we can support you. And so you're welcome to do that by giving us a call, 888-828-7528, or sending us an email, success at ags, that's adult and graduate studies, dot burnow, dot edu. Again, success at ags, dot burnow, dot edu. I've also placed... Uh, that phone number and email address in the chat. So you can go ahead and copy that uh, really quick as so you can have it on your own. Uh, so let's move on to the Q&A portion now. I'm so glad that we have both Kristen and Talita with us today to help take uh, your questions. If you joined us a little bit late, that's just fine. Go ahead and click on that Q&A icon at any time and uh, submit your question based on anything you've seen or heard so far. Um, Kristen Talita, thanks for joining us today. Glad to have you here. We've already got uh, a handful of questions, so I think we're ready to uh, to jump in here. 
All right, Talita, I'm going to start with you. Uh, I'm seeing questions about, you know, people are getting used to this idea of online classes. You think of college, you think, oh, you know, I'm going to be in a classroom with lots of people. I'm going to have a professor that has office hours. And so a couple of questions about how that adapts to online. First question I'm seeing is, will I ever meet my professors or my classmates in person? What would you say to that, Talita? Um, right now, I would say you would not meet them in person, but you can definitely meet your instructor and your classmates online um, through Zoom. Um, there's also a little thing in your canvas is called the coffee shop. And you can basically go in there and network with your fellow classmates and also your professor. So due to the pandemic, we definitely try to make sure that we're keeping everyone safe. So uh, as of right now, you would not meet them in person but I'm pretty sure later on when we start to get that normal pathway again, you will definitely be able to do so. All right, that sounds great. And, and so along with that, you know, specifically talking about, you know, meeting with professors virtually or how do office hours work uh, with online classes? Any more details you can share around that? Absolutely. So when you start your classes, you will see a syllabus for your instructor. Your instructor will have their office hours on there. So you can definitely reach out to them via email to schedule an appointment. And you can also do that via Zoom. So that's the great thing. It's very convenient. They are available for you. And so that makes the program just it just works well for working adults. All right, fantastic. Thanks for those answers, Talita. Uh, Kristen, I'm going to send this next question your way. You spent um, you spent some time in the broadcast talking about uh, financial aid and options that are available for people. Um, and so, seeing a couple questions about that. First of all, um, you know, how many Brunel students get financial aid? Is is it a is a majority, a minority? What can you answer in terms of how many Brunel students get financial aid? So the majority of uh, students probably get financial aid, I'd say about 98%. Um, other methods of payment are tuition assistance. So always ask your uh, companies whether or not they provide tuition assistance to help out as well. And then um, some people are able to pay cash as well. So it just really is up to you how you feel more comfortable and the best option um, that works for you. So um, it's a great option um, for sure. Um, and you don't have to um, pay it back until six months after you graduate or stop taking classes. So definitely a great option. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, and, and I know one key, and you mentioned it too, one key to all this financial aid, kind of the, the uh, jumping off point is that FAFSA, that free application for federal student aid. So can you give us a little more um, context behind why FAFSA is so important and your role in helping a student to uh, fill out that FAFSA and start finding that aid that they may qualify for. Sure, a FAFSA is very, very important because yes, it is free. Um, it allows the financial aid department and the school to determine what other options are available as well. So once you do fill out the FAFSA, you might be eligible for um, items that are through the state, um, HOPE scholarships, equalization grants, a different um, resources to help out supplemental grants that might apply to you. And by filling out that FAFSA, that's going to help them determine um, what might be uh, applicable to you and available for each student. Uh, and it's, it's um, free and easy. And we as enrollment coaches um, are more than happy to walk you through those steps as well. All right, fantastic. Thanks for that, Kristen. Uh, Talita, I'm going to send uh, this next question your way. Um, questions, do I have to be logged on at a certain time or day for my online classes at Brunel? What would you say to that, Talita? The schedule is flexible. So if you're off work at 10 o'clock in the evening, log in, do your assignment, answer your discussion question, and make sure you post it before its due date. So in your syllabus, you will see when your assignments are due. And the great thing is too, we have a Burnout app that you can download and you can go into your dashboard and your dashboard actually tells you what assignments are do as well. And so from your cell phone, you can do your discussion questions. So no mandatory class times. We definitely understand family life and working and being parents. So we try to make it as flexible as possible. All right.
right. Yeah, that, that flexibility, I'm sure, is much appreciated, especially now. Yeah. Uh, Talita, also just kind of piggybacking off of that, um, what what kind of time commitment can students expect? Obviously, you know, they'll log in and look at their class materials, but they're going to have assignments outside of class two. What do you typically tell students in terms of, hey, you should plan on this amount of time, you know, per day, per week, whatever it is, uh, to make sure that you stay on track for that program? The average time will be 20 hours per week. So I always advise students to break it down, you know, um, break it down to their availability when they're not with their kids or they're not at work. If you're on your lunch break, you can probably spend an hour doing some reading um, while you're eating your lunch. Once your kids are at home in bed, you can take that other hour and devote it to doing the actual paper and then the following up with just checking your discussion and questions. So realistically, you're like at devoting about 20 hours a week for your program and that's two classes. So you're looking at 10 hours per class. So you're doing two classes per seven weeks. Okay. All right. Good advice. Good to, good to map out. And again, that flexibility in terms of, yeah, it's 20 hours, but it's not like you're doing it all at once. You're able to sure. find pockets kind of throughout your day and throughout your week to, to get that done. So uh, thanks for that, Talita. Uh, we've got time for a couple more questions. So if you haven't already, be sure to utilize that Q&A function so we make sure that we get the answers that you are hoping for. Uh, Kristen, let's talk about transfer credits. I'm seeing questions about does Bernal accept transfer credits and how can a coach kind of help me through that process? So share some details about that, please. Kristen. Sure, that's a really great question about uh, transfer credits. So it's always up to the receiving school ultimately to accept credits, whether or not it is from a regionally accredited school, nationally accredited school. Um, they want to make sure that it applies to the, the program program. Um, so if you're transferring in uh, classes from healthcare and you're going into teaching, you know, that may be an issue. But if you're going from healthcare to healthcare, of course, that will be something that um, can be looked at. So when you do apply, uh, we do request transcripts on your behalf. Once we do receive those transcripts, admissions department will go ahead and evaluate those credits and they'll evaluate all all transferred credits and um, determine which ones will apply at that point. Yeah, that's great. And, and one point that you mentioned that that um, I, I want to make sure that we emphasize for folks out there, because I think this is a benefit that people may not know about or maybe not take advantage enough. But you talked about how uh, you and other coaches will request those transcripts on behalf of a student. And I know one thing that can get in the way for some students is having to pay the fees that go along with that. So talk about more about that process and, and how Bernal can actually help cover the fees for those transcripts as well, right? Absolutely. So we will go ahead and request transcripts on your behalf. And occasionally a school will uh, want to get uh, the transcripts from the direct individual rather than a third person. And in that situation, we, we will reimburse you um, as a student um, for your transcripts. So we'll go ahead and send that check to you um, so that you don't have to worry about the cost and, and the burden um, behind not being able to afford that. All right. Yeah, that, that, that's a that's a great benefit. So uh, thanks for expanding on that, Kristen. Uh, I, think we have time, I think we have time for one more question. And really, it's one that I think both of you, Talita and Kristen, can give your perspective on. Uh, you know, th there have never been more options for people to earn a degree online. And especially in the last year, you've had a lot of schools, you know, kind of expand their, their online program offerings and students are just faced with more decisions now than ever. And so just anything else that, that the two of you would have to share in terms of what makes Brunau a great place to be for online? What is it that in your minds separates Brunau from other schools that people may be considering? So Talita, I'll give you a first crack at that one. And then Christian, you can add in uh, anything else there at the end. What makes Brunau stand out is the fact that we treat our students like family. Um, not only do they have an enrollment coach, they have a student success coach and a faculty advisor. So again, you have these individuals who are working towards your success. We want to make sure that you are completely uh, satisfied with our program, making the grace that you need to get to the to career that you want. And that what that's what stands out for me with Bernal, the loyalty to the students and, and catering to their needs to make sure that they're successful. 
I think as a student uh, myself um, recently or in a little bit in the past, but um, I think that it doesn't matter what age you are. Uh, it, it's something that provides an opportunity, whether or not we have families, whether or not we work full time, it provides that opportunity for us to go ahead and better ourselves. And I think that's so important that we can do that within our own space within our own time and and end up you know with the same results and and provide that opportunity that we all need right now so i think that's uh, one of the best uh, features as well all right great answers great perspective kristen talita thank you so much for joining us and thanks to all of you out there for for your time and attention as we as we went through uh, this webinar today so one last reminder before we say goodbye Classes start again on May 10th, and there's a lot that you can do right now to help get you ready, whether that's, you know, filling out that FAFSA, getting that financial aid going, getting those transcripts uh, requested. There's a lot that we can do now, and so we're eager to talk to you and help you work through your specific situation so that we can get you started on the path to success as a Brunel online student. So give us a call, 888-828-7528, or send us an email, success at AGS. .brenow.edu. Remember, we've put those in the chat, so you can copy and paste those um, and have them on hand at the ready. And so once again, thank you all for joining us today. And thanks to Kristen and Talita uh, for their insight and their perspective today. Uh, please stay safe. We hope you have a great rest of your day and week. Take care, everybody.